Daniel, you've been... I thought I started. <laughs> <laughs> I thought, is it me? <laughs> well, you've played the role of James Bond since 2006, the mm. most iconic figure in the film industry. What's it actually like, away from the camera, being James Bond? Well, thankfully, I'm not, because it probably would be quite a, a, a problem. But, yeah, I mean, it, it, you know, it, it changed my life. It changed my life uh, immeasurably. Um, and um, um, like I knew it would, but I, I could never expect it. Ugh, the whole thing, it's just like, you can't imagine how big that is. But, but I think I've tried to kind of just stay as grounded as, grounded as I possibly can. I, I, otherwise, I don't think I'd cope. It's so, it's so kind of foreign to me, the whole thing. It's so like kind of, the, kind of the famous thing. I still get kind of like surprised by it and like, about me, I mean, really? So, so, I, because it just doesn't, it's, so, I, I, it's not connected to who I am, so I, I stay as pretty grounded. OK, your final film, No Time to Die, is it different from Bond films before? Is it, are you going well, out with a bang? For, for, yeah, definitely, definitely, definitely. But I think the, um, first and foremost, it's a Bond movie. Every time we do one of these, I, you know, maybe, I mean, people talk to me about getting the characters or getting deeper into the character and all these things, and I say, yeah, 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 I do. I try and do that, because that's what I do. But never, never, ever forget that it's a Bond movie. You've got to have all the things. But we, we pulled out all the stops for this one. I mean, mm -hmm. you know, people talk about gadgets all the time, and I've been pretty, um, I suppose, down on gadgets, because I was like, eh, whatever. Um, but this one, we pulled that out, the stops out for that, and the car's in, and the uh, DB5's in, and everything else is there, so. Mm. Yeah. You had to be persuaded, I think, initially mm. to, to take the role. Mm. Then I saw your last scene with the crew, you were very emotional. Mm. How much are you going to miss playing mm. James Bond? But it's almost a relief as well that it's coming to an end? Uh, I, it's a, yeah, exactly. And it's complicated because obviously, you know, but I, I, I think I was going to give up after Spectre. I, I, I definitely kind of felt like that was it and I felt like uh, you know, I got an injury and kind of just, uh, the, the, it was just, I know, you know, as well as I do, that can be mm. kind of how, how that screws you with your head. It's just like you kind of, you kind of got kind of to pick yourself up emotionally from that. And I just thought, ah, oh, it's over, I can't do anymore. But I'm so grateful for the fact we got a chance to do this because we've tied up a lot of loose ends. I've, I, I've, I've, I've managed to sort of finish something that I started. I feel like I've, um, that there's a kind of a, a circles joined on this. And, and, and I, I just, um, I'll be sad to leave it because making the films is really one of the most intense and creative and satisfying things I've ever done because I get to work with these like just crazy amazing people and uh, yeah, and bomb movies are bomb movies they're not like nothing else and and I will miss it um, and probably will be when they cast the next person be you know a bit like mm. but I'm I'm okay with it I'm like I've, I've done it. I've done. I've done five. It's plenty. Uh, uh, this movie, like we said, I think. I think it's. It's really good. I'm very proud of it, and I'm, I'm happy to kind of get on with things now. You just mentioned uh, who the next James Bond may be. There's always yeah. a lot of speculation. It may now give you time to watch your beloved mm. football club Liverpool. A bit Do you more. Think, yeah. Uh, hopefully. Yeah. Do you think Jurgen Klopp would make a good James Bond? <laughs> um, I mean, I worship him, so yes. I mean, I mean, he's. I think he's. Um, you know, it's like I've, I've been really lucky enough. I've, I've been lucky enough to meet him a couple of times, and um, you just want to follow him. And that's kind of, and you know, uh, there's a couple of people I've met over the years like that and uh, the other one's Alex Ferguson actually, but I shouldn't really mention him. Um, <laughs> um, uh, uh, and you just. You know, he's a, he's, a, he's a leader, and it's like, so, I think he's kind of way beyond James Bond, really. Mm. Well, as I said, your beloved club, the club mm. I played for, brought mm. their title back in, in 2020. Yeah. I mean, do you think there's, there's a chance of reclaiming that title back this season? I do, yeah. I think there's a really big chance, yeah. I mean, I was just, we were talking just before we, uh, we started this about the Crystal Palace game. I thought that was one of those, of just, like, mm. a really big signifier. We can do it. Because if we can gouge those games out, we can do anything. Mm. Mm. 
Liverpool v Manchester City has been the real big battle mm. in the last sort of two or three years for mm. either the Champions League mm. or, or the we Premier League much title. Better football. <laughs> you prefer that type of football? <laughs> yeah, we prefer much better football than they do. They think they play, uh, but no. <laughs> yeah. How do you see that fight this season? They're going to be there, aren't they? They always are. Um, uh, Pep seems to sort of like keep them going. He keeps, he just keeps on getting expired season after season. Um, so you, you'd be you'd be crazy not to count them out. You know, United are looking interesting. It's like it, it does feel a bit more open, which is really exciting for you know if any of us any of us are neutral. But I do think Liverpool have kind of got a bit. They've got the spark. It was a it was an odd one to win the title when we did, mm. and I don't I, you know it'd be we need we need to win one in front of the fans. Mm. Where was you when they won the title? Can you remember that? <laughs> well, what, years ago or last year? <laughs> God, what was I doing? It was odd because it was like, it, it really was so, there was so much going on mm -hmm. and it was just, and I, I, and I felt like the kind of the players felt that everybody was feeling that. I felt like we were all kind of under this huge cloud. So I, I just want, you know, I, I, want, I want the celebrations to happen at Anfield. Mm -hmm. It's like that, that's kind of the, mm -hmm. that, that's where it should happen. The people in Liverpool, not just mm. the football club, are very proud mm. you know, of what you've achieved and, and, be, mm. and becoming James Bond. Where did that love for actually the football club then come from your childhood? Where well, did that come from? I was taken to the games when I was from about, I'd say about five or six. And some, I, I, I remember being in the cop end before it was seated um, and then, then sitting. And, 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 and I didn't go to that many games, but they were like, I mean, it was. I mean, it's a long time ago, but the memory is seared in my brain, mm. and it was. It would have been. I mean, I think Steve Highway was still playing. I think Daglish. Uh, Daglish was playing. Dag, oh, Daglish was just about to be signed. Keegan was. It was. It was that era, and mm. it was like. And 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 even now, you know, I go back. I don't get to as many games as I'd like, but. I find it really hard to hold, hold my emotions in check while I'm in that ground. And I can't imagine what it's like to play in front of, mm. because you know I'm 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 in pieces just walking in, so I can't you know and, and it's got, and I've been to other grounds and it's not it's not like that. Mm. So it's like there's something so special about it, um, um, and it's you know because it's full of scousers I suppose that's really what it's about. I think the yeah. last time we, we met was it was it in in Boston was it in the dressing room? Oh, we, I think with the uh, uh, Fenway. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think you come in the dressing room then and yeah, see yeah, the players, yeah, and, yeah. and people ask me about that. What mm. was it like meeting James Bond? But as it's not just <laughs> yeah. James Bond, it's yeah. actually anyone who comes into the Liverpool dressing room at that yeah. time. Yeah. They normally speak to Stephen Gerrard, and right. you just to get a quick hello. So yeah, it was, yeah. uh, he was, uh, yeah, he was, yeah, our, yeah. he was our James Bond at the time. Yeah, 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 yeah. Of course, yeah, yeah. Of course he was. Yeah. I mean, I, I, you can't, you can't imagine the thrill I get. I mean, it's like going and, and the opportunity to go and sort of meet you in your private space because it is really it's private back there. I know yeah. there's kind of it's a bit more there's more cameras around now and they kind of get a lot of it shared but that's your quiet it's a quiet space where you have to kind of get your head together and things like that so it's slightly hallowed to me mm. so I always get very kind of reverential when I get back and then just to sort of you know the fact that you know you'll you'll take the time to come and say hello is just like just amazing well, Daniel, I want to say thank you mm. for taking the time to speak to it's me. A pleasure. And hopefully uh, yeah. Liverpool and mm. the film will go really well and good luck to both. Oh, yeah. Thank you very much. Yeah, great pleasure to see you. James? Fate draws us back together. Now your enemy is my enemy. How did that happen? Well, you live long enough. Harder to tell the good from bad, villains from heroes these days. We used to be able to get into a room with the enemy. Now they're just floating in the ether. She still loves you. Did you know that? What is it? You don't know what this is. Is she one of them? I don't know her at all. When her secret finds its way out, it'll be the death of you. James Bond. We both eradicate people to make the world a better place. I just want to be a little... 
hiding her. I met your new double O. She's a disarming young woman. Have you ever flown one of these things before? Nope. Nothing left to say. When you're ready. You're late. Can I just have one nice evening, please, before the world explodes?